went into it, we really, I didn't know what to expect. I don't think she knew what to expect. Um, but I was definitely pre pleasantly surprised by the program. Um, it definitely came right on time for us with the pandemic and just with everybody just being so isolated. And I think this last year in school was kind of difficult because there wasn't any really interaction with her and other students and other teachers like, you know, in the past years. Um, so we were all kind of really feeling kind of really, um, to say, I guess, lack of a better word, just depressed and very anxious about everything. Um, so when she got into this program, I was really excited um, but just really didn't know what to expect. I can tell you like her, everything just went from so sad to, and like just hopeless to like, okay, what am I getting up this morning for? What am I doing this for? To like getting up every morning. I mean, she was getting up, getting herself ready for, for work and ready for her classes. And and it was just like a light switch had went had come on. It was a completely different person. She had a completely different attitude. And I'm kind of I'm really sad to see this program go because I'm like, can we continue to like for the rest of like the year, rest of the school year? Because you know, it just gave her something to look forward to. And then like I was I just going in her room, you know during her classes sometimes I would just kind of peek in and see what was going on it was amazing to hear and to see all the different things that she was learning stuff that you know as an adult of course I have learned those things as you know you know just going through the world and like you know living life but for her to learn about nutrition and, and mental health and wellness and um you know uh, she was learning um, about resumes and, and building a resume and interviewing and just life skills that you really, that I don't think it's like, I don't, I don't, it's not the responsibility of school, I guess, to teach those things. I guess you learn those later in life, I guess, like most of us did kind of just living life and moving along, you know, in the world, you kind of learn these things, but for her to learn, you know, this at the age of 16, and not only was she learning, <laughs> I was learning too. I'm like, right now I'm updating my resume with some of the things that I heard her learn, which is like amazing. She, one thing in particular was like, she, uh, the instructor was telling her not to put your personal email on your resume. And I was like, that makes sense because you know your personal email is connected to your social media and i mean i know my social media isn't anything to you know you know be concerned about but i mean we all know that you know sometimes people not any of us or anything but will put things that are not very you know not, nothing that you would want an employer or a future employer or you know your you know, people that you look forward to working with in the future to, to see. And I was like, that's so smart. Just little things like that. And, you know, especially with like the, like I said, the past year with the pandemic, you know, our mental, like everybody's mental health and, you know, had to kind of deteriorate and not being around people and not socializing. So for her to learn those things about, you know, get, keeping your mind and your body, you know, well, it was just, it was priceless. I would have paid um, you guys to teach my children that. I mean, and I, you know, it's it's so sad that, like I said, it's it's ending and it's ended. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that you know maybe next year or there's some other programs that are like this throughout the school year that I can get her involved in because she. I mean, the way she spoke about her, you know, how much she respect her, the people that were talking to her and not even that, um, she mentioned the other students and how involved and how excited they were about, you know, what they were learning and how involved they were. Um, 
our kids now, you know, you know, I know most of the students in her class, I remember during the school year, she would talk about how, you know, half of the kids didn't even show up to, to school and, or, or to their classes. And it was, you know, it really didn't motivate her. And like I said, I know it's because you know, the situation that we were in with the pandemic, I couldn't really blame, you know, those kids for not being because it hit her hard as well. So I kind of understood where everybody was coming from, but this was definitely a breath of, of fresh air. I can't thank um, this program and the people that were involved and, you know, everybody enough for, you know, helping her and helping me um, get through the, this last month of, um, of the pandemic. And um, it was just, like I said, it was, it was priceless, this, this experience, this priceless. I love it, 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 I love it. Yeah, I just wanted to take a moment to thank Michael Thurman and the board of uh, directors and everyone who had anything to do with the funding of this program. It was just so awesome to to see this work. I am firsthand, you know, had firsthand experience seeing it work, and you know, through my daughter. And I just thank, 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 thank you so much for everything that you've done for our kids. Awesome, 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 awesome. So, um, anything, um, anything else that you want to add? Want to say? Um, Gosh, what, like, is there? So let me ask you a question though. Like, just generally speaking, what kind of, what, 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 what area of work are you in? Um, I was um, just administrative stuff. Yeah. Um, that's what I'm looking for right now. Just something um, to get back out there. Cause I, I was doing aesthetics. It was just facials and stuff like that. Um, more holistic stuff, but I have, a uh, huge background in, you know, administrative, like, um, you know, especially in the healthcare industry. So after this, I'm like, you know, so what you I'm kind of- You send me your resume. Okay. Hold on one second. 